How's everybody doing? It is the 5th of December. Jordan Trask here. And I came out to the shop. It's a little noisy in my house. It's the weekend for day five of the 25 days of Christmas. So turn the volume up if you're just scrolling past us right now. Today, I drew a super random business category of restaurant. So I've been sitting out here trying to think of, you know, uh, if you haven't seen any of my videos, I'm basically coming up with campaign strategies for the holidays for uh, random uh, potential clients or industries or niches, if you will. And um, restaurant can be kind of tricky during the holiday season to kind of do promotions and stuff because a lot of people, for, no, for number one, a lot of people are cooking a lot of meals or driving or, or traveling or getting with family, right? And there's snow, weather's starting to get a little bit colder, more rain, so a lot of more people are staying indoors. And then you have the element of delivery now where a percentage of people don't even go to restaurants anymore, right? Because they're afraid or uh, they don't want to, right? To be around people because um, people have changed a lot in the last year. Society has changed a lot. So, uh, you know, being a business owner for a restaurant, a restaurant owner, you have to be fluent. You have to be able to think on your toes. You have to be able to, uh, you know, adjust with the times and you have to be able to constantly get, be able to get in front of people who are overwhelmed or uh, distracted by all kinds of food commercials, right? Food commercials, food signs, notifications, discounts, deals, specials, uh, promotions, 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 ads, ads, ads everywhere for food. Um, one of the main things you look at when you're doing an ad is the the coloration. I think a lot of times restaurants and stuff, they try to get people to come in the store or restaurant <laughs> uh, based on persuasion or uh, desire, right? Uh, something that looks that looks pleasing to the eyes, that is delicious, sounds delicious, that makes your mouth water, that uh, seems fun, like a good environment to come and enjoy. Those are all ways that uh, restaurants lure, we'll say that, lure people in. But when it comes to pre-focus, you know, we want to create something that lasts. We want to not just uh, uh, create a good first impression. We don't want to just catch somebody's attention. We want to establish a memory that people elicit when they're in the need for your product or service. So if I'm thinking of a restaurant that's really going to market a lot or maybe even consider putting a lot of ad spend into advertising, I would probably think you probably want to do something like desserts, right? So we don't want to do, we don't want to veer too far off because I don't want to cheat here, but a restaurant is a place somebody can order from or go to, right, that prepares the food for them. So we don't necessarily want to do those people that work from home or those really, really creative. I know I follow some of you. Uh, moms or wives or bakers could be a man or woman that uh, you know make tons of orders for the holidays cookies pies treats just unique creative desserts right we'll exclude those because we're already doing delivery they don't have people come to them to eat to dine in most cases we're shipping that out so I'm thinking of more like a, let's focus on a bakery and I think uh, you know it's that's that industry in itself is a little bit more competitive or popular. I personally think during the springtime, Easter, uh, you have a lot of more birthday parties, uh, uh, you know, intimate gatherings or events where people bring a lot of desserts to, uh, or, you know, the end of the summer, the fall, where people are having potlucks and stuff. That's typically, in my opinion, at least, uh, I've, I've only worked with one restaurant that offered like pastries and stuff. So I don't have a lot of experience here, but I mean, I can, if you, you offer desserts, if you're a bakery, um, but I'm trying to think of really here, what are what are our customers doing right now? Um, I think, you know, you want to order stuff to be able to eat. You want to be able to go and enjoy uh, restaurant stuff during this time with families in town and stuff. All that stuff is fine and dandy, but for the most part, from a bakery, um, you have to really consider what people are doing. So holiday parties might might be something that's really big, right? Um, weddings maybe, uh, graduations. Uh, you know, people that graduate early or college, um, birthdays, obviously my wife's birthday was, was the other day and, um, what else are people doing during the holidays? I mean, Thanksgiving, I think a lot of people, you know, create their own stuff. So initially here, I'm, I'm probably thinking it might be cool to do a promotion, some little teaser stuff here. Obviously 
Uh, maybe some samplers would be a really good idea. My truck, sitting next to my truck out here, sorry. Uh, you know where you, you can make some sales a little bit here and there online where you're catching people's attention? Uh, but I think a lot of people, you know, like I said before, they're, they're at people's houses, you know, and somebody that, that all of a sudden, all of a sudden remembers or thinks that they need a dessert. So going to a holiday party, a gathering, maybe going with family and stuff, um, or maybe we're already at something and we want to order something that's a dessert. Maybe we're making a bunch of food and, and maybe we're drinking, right? And we don't want to venture out back to the store or maybe the stores are closed. Uh, the bakery uh, is probably still open in my, in my opinion, it probably should be uh, during the holiday season, uh, during dates where most businesses are probably closed. Uh, I just I think I think I'm thinking just now there's there's all kinds of needs you can't really nail down one type of strategy or campaign for baked goods or desserts um, so I would try to create a campaign again it's kind of the theme of the last couple of days that's a more of a wide net approach it's gonna be able to capture more people uh, within that 30 second window of the ad or video or two minutes whatever the case may be to get them to come uh, take action, not in the moment, but when the memory happens or when the need arrives, uh, which we would consider that more of the uh, of awareness phase. Um, so we're going to create a campaign that's leading up to the holidays that helps people, um, that drives awareness for a, a certain product or brand um, for a lot of different people, um, for not specifically a, a, a certain time or pinpointed time. Um, Sorry, my brain's moving really fast here. Sorry, it's a little bit more boring today, but um, this is kind of a little bit more on the, on the spot one uh, strategy where, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of an ongoing campaign that, that, you know, we could spend a lot of money on and make a lot of money on, um, that that's not going to really get old. And I'm sitting here and my dirt bike's sitting right here. Um, like it might be cool to have like a couple of dirt bikes you could maybe even have a, a couple of employees or maybe you buy some right brand them up of your bakery it could be kind of your thing especially i'm in mississippi now this will be really effective here but brand up a couple of dirt bikes or four wheelers drive them around the city drive around the town make sure they're enduros you could drive they're street legal you could drive them on the street that maybe have uh like a really creative like christmas theme or or uh catchphrase or something like whipped like uh like you have dirt bikes whipping around the town so i'm initially thinking like whipped cream pies um like whipped whipped toppings or or a whipped desserts maybe that would be kind of cool maybe create a campaign of whipped desserts with whipped cream certain toppings christmas themed we're having these dirt bikes you're driving around you're paying these people to drive around with the ad that's that's building the awareness take some videos maybe some really cool videos of dirt bike stuff close-ups like you could do that for free on your cell phone. Maybe pay somebody 50, 60 bucks to edit it, tie the video together to make it really with some tri good transitions and some good animation technology to make it pop on social media. Drive them things around the town. Uh, take them to the park. Watch out for the kids. Uh, and create this campaign. It's called Whip Toppings or Whip Desserts. Uh, limited time, December only. Or maybe from Thanksgiving. That'd be great because... A lot of people are going to make their own desserts for Thanksgiving. A lot of people aren't going to be venturing out. Stores are going to be closed. People are get. That's kind of a common, common theme now. Is just, uh, you know, uh, hibernate for the rest of the evening on Thanksgiving once you get all that food. So maybe 29th of November all the way through the 24th of December, uh, we have these dirt bikes running around delivering these pies delivering these whipped desserts to all these different people number one you're saving money on gas you're cutting expenses for delivery time you're not having to really do delivery apps or anything um, you have a themed campaign that's specific somebody can call, somebody can call and say hey jordan's bakery I, I, I would like a whipped dessert boom transfer you right over to the whipped dessert whatever uh create a system even if you only have four or five employees working uh, you got a couple people on delivery bikes riding around uh, throw a couple pies on the back just like a pizza delivery boy right just like the old days and now you have a legit campaign that maybe you could even run all year round especially somewhere in Mississippi like this where a lot of people are active most of the year um, you could even create a business out of it I'm starting to really you know think that could be cool now like what type of desserts could be just whipped you know that whip around 
that's maybe kind of something that you can whip up really fast, something that you need real fast that's available right now. Oh my gosh, I need a dessert. I'm going to this party or I'm having people over or people are staying a little bit longer. We had a, a lunch party. It went into dinner. Um, we had to order some pizza or order whatever, some appetizers and stuff. Now I want to order dessert. Oh my gosh, everything's closed. Whip toppings, right? Like that would be really cool. You could run that campaign. I could I could have clients all, all over the country run that same campaign. We're not competing with each other. Uh, and it would really, I think it would really work really well in some of these small towns that I drove through over the, the summer, this past summer in Texas and Arkansas and Mississippi and Florida where they don't have a lot, really a lot of availability. You could even maybe create, create a business out of your kitchen, right? Where you're whipping up some cool desserts that don't cost a lot of money, saving money on gas, not paying on ads. Everything is local. It's all impression based. You're getting it in front of people. They're remembering when they need it. It's whipped toppings. It makes sense. You got these little dirt bikes riding around. It's catchy. It's unique. It's memorable. Creating a memory. Easy for people to remember. Don't even need to remember the brand name. Not spending a bunch of money on designs and elegant presentation and all these things. You're doing videos, right? Doing talk videos like this where you got to take a lot of takes or do your makeup, have your settings, all that stuff. And you're really just, just you know, being true to who you are. If I'm local in Mississippi and I have a bake shop or something, you know, I'd probably go hunting. I'd probably ride my dirt bike around. I'd probably go fishing and stuff. So being able to cater to the local community and, uh, you know, provide them or supply them with something that a lot of people want, which is desserts during the holiday season, I think is pretty genius. So whipped toppings, whipped desserts, whipped pies, whipped cream, whatever you want to call it. Do something big for the holiday season this year. If you're a bakery, think about it. Uh, you could even come up with scooters or something. They only cost like 500 bucks. It, it could be a lot cheaper to buy a dirt bike for $1,000 maybe than, than it would cost you to run a week's worth of ads. So uh, think about like this stuff, outside the box type stuff. This, this is fruitful stuff. It's evergreen. You brand a truck, you brand a, a dirt bike, you brand something and you get creative with your marketing. This, this stuff continues to to give every time that dirt bike's driven that truck's driven the signs put up the trailer i got a trailer over here people see the trailer um it may suck pay, paying three four thousand dollars for a wrap for a trailer right um but that's evergreen it's you're able to park it places right and it's free ads and so think about that stuff be able to map it out compare contrast be able to say hey each of my customers cost me eighty dollars to acquire right so i'm probably gonna uh or, or I'm, I'm, I'm average, we flip it around, I, I make $80 uh, per customer. How do I make sure that I'm not spending uh, more than $80 per customer, right? These are all little things you got to be able to break down behind the scenes before you start on campaigns. Because once you spend that money on a wrap or on an ad campaign, and say you're only making $12 a customer, you can get in the hole really, really fast. If you spend 10 grand, and you're waiting on that you're waiting to make the 10 grand back on $12 increments. You know, you got to be wise with the way you go about spending your money. Once you make that big chunk, once something does catch on, uh, have a goal so that you're able to uh, kind of fill fill those budgets up, right, before you're spending it or uh, re reach certain goals or uh, ceilings or uh, touch points before you go to next level stuff, right, or... Uh, you know, be find really, really good ways to be affordable with your marketing so you're able to gain traction. And then you, once you're able to get, you know, a nice chunk set of start setting aside some money, right? Or finding ways that uh, you can give. Um, there's all, there's all, uh, all kinds of ways that you can market and promote your business, which is not the typical ad campaign, TV commercial, uh, pay-per-click budget, social media posts, blog posts, stuff like that. I know that's stuff that everybody does all the time and, and you should do just because it's, it's more touch points. It's more forms of content. It gets, gets you in front of people at different points in time uh, and d during different phases of the customer cycle. Um, but in most cases, the most effective campaigns are the ones you the most effective campaigns are the ones that you really sit down and brainstorm with different groups of people. Um, it's one of the things that I do at Prefocus that I sit down, uh, have you sit down, my clients sit down with different professionals in different areas, with imagery specialists to development, to design, um, to writers, right, to strategists, to uh, 
animation, all these ty types of things to be able to sit down and really say, okay, what's going to work? What's not going to work? What's costly? How are we going to make up for these costs? Uh, what's affordable? How do we, uh, you know, kind of skip ahead a little bit and, and take advantage of these savings? Or how do we repurpose money? How do we reallocate funds? All these things. The more heads you're able to have at a table uh, that aren't screwed on straight, right, that are really thoughtful, that are really uh, experienced and really creative, the better your stuff is going to be. Don't think you have to mimic people all the time. And the reason I bring this up um, for today, I know I'm going long again, as always, I just ja da ja da ja. Uh, it's because bake bakeries is a really uh it's a it's 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 a pretty specific niche you know it's not something that you could really venture outside of too much as far as who your target audience is and stuff. I'm um, a bakery's a bakery. I mean you can you can go down to pastries and ice cream and different different ways about going about things. But uh, when it comes to a local business like that, that people can kind of know what to get when they come into your shop or your store. Um, you, you want to be able to stand out because if they need a cake or they want some donuts, or they want certain cupcakes, you want them to go to a certain person for that type of stuff. And uh, whipped toppings, somebody in a bind that needs a dessert that doesn't want to go to the store, I mean, boom, that you're going to capture that all day. I can't really think of anybody that's doing that. Even if it, they have a delivery service right now, you can't really think of anybody that stands out, that you, comes to mind right away, even on the national stage. That's like, oh, this dessert company is on point for this or does a really good job doing this it's normally just based on taste right or desire uh, or what somebody is craving right or or likes uh, and if, if uh, you know you're a dessert supplier and you have a unique way about going about things that that's extremely powerful I just wanted to bring that up uh, there's a lot of industries like that uh, where there's so many opportunities to stand out you just got to sit down and figure it out what's the best way is dirt bikes the best way you know, whipped toppings, whipped desserts. Is that really the best way? I don't know. But sitting here talking about it, it's probably going to help somebody out there that has a bake shop um, come up with something that they are experienced at, that they that they understand because they talk to their customers. And I think it's going to be fruitful. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be a fruit cake. Be purposeful with everything you guys do. And always remember to pre-focus. Thanks for tuning in.